what two months ago was looking like certain defeat for Democrats in the fall and the impossibility of a Joe Biden reelection amidst a strong Trump with a strong DeSantis, either po poised to win the 2024 presidential election has shifted so dramatically in such a short period of time where it is Trump now under criminal investigation after an FBI search warrant executed at his house, including possible charges violating the Espionage Act. And on the other side, Joe Biden's presidency is looking very, very good. I'm going to outline for you in a moment each bullet point to make up this incredible 180 for the Biden administration. But I want to remind everybody before you're, oh, David, you Democratic shill. David, you're in the tank for the DNC. You've loved Biden all along. I've been very cool on Biden. I expected very little from Biden. And up until weeks ago, I was telling you approval rating in the toilet. Uh, unlikely reelection. It's just looking terribly. Very few accomplishments to speak of. And it has changed dramatically. I call it like it is. I'm not a Democrat. I don't care about the Democratic Party. So let's go through these things item by item. Uh, first, real quick, I want to tell you about our sponsor, Aura. I've talked on the show before about how we have dealt with hacking, and it's a terrible feeling. You have to act quickly. The problem can get worse fast if you don't. And I now protect myself with Aura. Aura monitors my email addresses, passwords, bank accounts, credit cards, all of that stuff and sends me alerts if anything has been compromised. It's identity theft protection and fraud monitoring all wrapped together. Aura continuously monitors the dark web looking for your private info. You get an alert as soon as something is discovered. Aura also does things like alert you if there are suspicious credit inquiries, if someone opens or tries to open an account in your name. I've gotten useful alerts from my Aura app and I was able to act on them quickly. If you don't have a tool like Aura, I highly recommend it. And when you go to Aura.com slash Pacman, you will get Aura free for 14 days, which you can use to do things like see if your passwords have been leaked. The link is down below. All right. So look at the list of accomplishments that Joe Biden suddenly has to his name. And if you believe it's the economy, stupid, as James Carville said in the 1990s, then you have to see a very bright outlook for Democrats in November and even potentially for Joe Biden in 2024 if he decides to run again. So on the one hand, we've got the economy. Inflation is going down. Last report shows inflation lower uh, in July than it was in June. That's a good thing for Joe Biden. It's a good thing for the economy. Gas prices have now declined for what is the number of consecutive days? It's basically since mid June. 62, 63 consecutive days of gas price declines. I never thought that Biden had anything to do with gas prices going up. I don't believe he has anything to do with them going down. But these metrics get attached to whoever is president. For all the people that blamed Biden for ga high gas prices, you've got to give him the credit for them going down, as silly as I think all of this is. So inflation down, gas prices down. July jobs report. We were expecting 250,000 new jobs. We got over 500,000. The number of new jobs in July was more than double the expected number. The Inflation Reduction Act is going forward. The PACT Act, much lobbied for by former Daily Show host John Stewart, is done. The killing of the terrorist leader Ayman al-Zawahiri. I'm a progressive. I have real concerns about the lack of due process when these killings are done. I'm right there with every single one of you. But by the standards of what is considered an accomplishment for a president. Yet another accomplishment. Wages up in July, half of a percent. So you've got tons of jobs, stock market stable and up with a fantastic July and a very nice early August so far. People are making more and things are costing less. And look at the alternative. It's Trump posting on Truth Social about how it was very wrong for the documents that he had, which he shouldn't have had to be taken from Mar-a-Lago, a dramatically different situation from what we had two months ago. Joe Biden's approval is increasingly reflecting it um, at last check. 
Joe Biden's approval after bottoming out at 37 percent has already gotten back up to about 41, a, a modest change, but a very, very clear inflection point that started uh, in the second half of July. Democrats could actually do OK in November. Joe Biden could plausibly be reelected in 24 if he chooses to run, which I still am very unsure of. Let me know what you think. Things not looking very good for Trump, looking pretty good for Joe Biden.